Hey lovelies, okay, so I wanna to talk today about a couple of different things. I wanna start off with, no, not the Tiga and Maya Isabel thing. I wanna start off with Donald Trump. Okay, listen, I used to think that this guy was kind of smart. Abrasive, yes, but very intelligent. I mean, the guy's filed for bankruptcy how many times and yet still managed to climb his way back out of the hole. That's got to tell you that he's got some sort of smarts up there. That is until I saw the whole rapist, drug addicts, and everything else with regards to Mexican-American, Latino-American people. What were you thinking? Oh my goodness gracious. I just want to say that I think that Donald Trump is a bit of a hypocrite. Let me spell it for you. H-Y-P-O-C-R-I-T-E. Hypocrite. And I'm saying this because Mr. Donald Trump has been preaching the fact that China has been stealing all of our jobs. Um, I'm sorry, sir. Most of your stuff is made in China. Hmm. Doesn't that seem a bit hypocritical? I mean, as a president, I mean, you're allowed to backtrack and lie about things. I mean, look at Richard Nixon. He did it. So the thing here is that, you know, you've alienated so many people by the by the comments that you've made. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt that you are still going to be elected. George Lopez said something really smart. And so he said, sadly, there are enough racists in the United States of America to actually elect him. Could you imagine Donald Trump as president? Good Lord. Because the United States is attached to Canada, I'd fucking move. I would get out. I would be like, oh, uh, oh peace out. Peace out. I'd be done. Anyhow, I just want to say that it's just very hypocritical. I think that with what he said, I, I, I just don't know. I, I'm really, really, really disappointed in, um, in Donald Trump and his comments. Uh, yeah. And then he's actually gone after the writer from Modern Family, which which is even worse. Like, I mean, it's there's just a lot of idiocy going on right now. And it's it's very overwhelming, to say the least. Now, on to the meat and potatoes of this here vlog. I know people have been asking me what I think of the Tiga and Maya Isabel thing, or Mia, Maya. I may interchange. I'm sorry. I don't really know how to pronounce her name, so I say Maya or Mia. Um, it's in no disrespect to her whatsoever. Here's what I find fascinating. I find it fascinating that we were so apt to sort of stand behind Laverne Cox and to support her as a black trans woman, yet somehow we think that Maya Isabella is below that. They are both black trans women, and while one may have chosen the adult film industry and done very, very well... And the other has chosen mainstream. We don't know what Liver and Cox did before the mainstream thing. We have no idea. Not that I am in any way insinuating that Liver and Cox may have done something wrong or insidious in her past. However, let's not be black kettles here. Pardon the pen that wasn't intended to be racist. I'm so sorry if it comes off that way. Let's not be, you know, the kettle calling the kettle black, pot calling the kettle black. Let's not be that here. Both are black trans women and both deserve a certain level of respect and we should be giving it to them. Let's also talk about the fact that Tika is not the first African-American black man to be caught fooling around with a transgender woman. Also not the first black African-American celebrity male. If you recall, Eddie Murphy was caught picking up a tranny prostitute just a few years ago. And his thing was, I was just giving her a ride. Yeah, onto your lap. Hello. Anyhow, I think that it's just very disheartening. I think that the Maya Isabel thing may, in fact, take away from a lot of other things that are going on in the trans community. It would appear as though we take three steps forward and take 30 steps back, which is so very sad. One person's lifestyle or lifestyle choice is not indicative of an entire demographic. I too have worked in the adult industry and I am not at all ashamed of it. I've worked very hard to create an image and a brand that I find to be respectable, both in and outside of the adult industry. And I think I've done that very well. Um, as always, I thank you all so much for tuning into this. I just want to sort of say this as a side note. Remember this. When you are commenting below, any 
transphobic remarks with regards to Maya Isabel, Laverne Cox, or myself, you will immediately be blocked, banned, and reported. I will not have any of that on my wall. Keep it positive as always because that is the only way to be. Please don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. I will catch you all on the flip side, lovelies. Bye.